guys, I'm TJ. And I'm Carissa. And get ready, because today we're gonna do a super fun science experiment. And it's gonna help us learn more about Jesus. It's even gonna make us go, wow! Okay guys, today we get to do a super fun science experiment. Yeah, and my friend Selena gave us all of these supplies. She's a science teacher. Okay, but what are we supposed to do? Ah. Oh. She has a video for us and tells us exactly what to do with these things. Okay. All right, let's check it out. You guys ready? On the count of three, I want you to press play with me. One, two, three. Hey guys, for today's fun science experiment, we're going to be making elephant toothpaste. Okay, okay, we're not making actual toothpaste for elephants, that would be crazy. But we're gonna be seeing what happens when you mix a few key ingredients and it makes a really cool reaction. Make sure you have your goggles and your gloves on. In science, we always wanna make sure that safety is first. In this experiment, you'll be using hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, warm water, and yeast. I've already done the measurements for you. You're gonna start out by adding your hydrogen peroxide in your dish soap. Then you're gonna swish it together. After that, you're gonna take your warm water and your yeast and mix it. Add the yeast to the other container and watch what happens. I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen because I want it to be a surprise. I also gave you a science log where you're gonna write down what you think is gonna happen and what actually does happen. I can't wait to hear how it goes. Have fun. Wow, that sounds so cool. All right, TJ, before we try it, we have to put in our gloves and our goggles. Okay. Safety first. Let's get started. All right, first we have our log. Carissa, when we mix all these things together, what do you think is gonna happen? Hmm, I don't know. We've got soap, hydrogen peroxide. I think it's gonna explode. I don't think anything's gonna happen. It's just simple ingredients. But hey, let's see what happens. All right, all right you go first. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and put the soap in this hydrogen peroxide like this. Whoa. Let's see if we can make it a different color with some food coloring. All right, let's put in some pink here. Pink food coloring. Whoa, look at that. Mix it around a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Let's put it in. Here we go, we're gonna put this in here. Okay, the very top here. All right, and okay. then we're gonna add this in. We're gonna see what happens. Whoa! Look at what? that! What? Woo! It turned foamy, look! All right, now that we've done it in a small one, we're gonna try it in a bigger beaker. Here we go. I'm gonna pour this in here, and this one's purple. Whoa! All right. Crazy. Here we go. All right, you record what happens. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens in a bigger one. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Check that out. Woo. All right, now that we've done the two beakers, we've got something even bigger, and we've got this Coke bottle. All right, Carissa, you pour one and I'll pour one. All right, here we go. Let's use this funnel. You go first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this one in here. Wow, look at that. All right, kids, here we go. Whoa, Whoa. look at it! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa look, look at, at that. it go! Woo! That was cool. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is awesome. Unbelievable. Wow, elephant toothpaste is the best! Wow, I can't believe that with just a few small ingredients, we were able to make something so huge. That definitely makes me go wow. Yeah, me too. And you know what else makes me go wow? Jesus, he did something super cool in our Bible story today. You see, it only took us a few ingredients to make our elephant toothpaste big, but Jesus only needed a few loaves of bread and some fish to feed 5,000 people. What? That's insane. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went, 
because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Back, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. You got it. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps, left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, Jesus only needed a few loaves of bread and fish to feed 5,000 people. That definitely makes me go wow. Kids, who makes you go wow? Jesus, Jesus makes, makes me go, go wow. wow. Come on, let's say that together again. Who, who makes, makes you go, go wow? Jesus, Jesus makes, makes me go, go wow. wow. Jesus is so powerful. That's right, Jesus is so powerful. And we can remember that by doing this science experiment at home. Guys, this week for your take home activity, we have this super cool science log that you can use when you do this experiment at home with an adult and remember the Bible story that we learned about today. Well, today has been so much fun, but you guys are gonna go ahead and keep learning about Jesus and worshiping Him. And we'll see you back next time. Bye guys. Bye.